Guys, welcome to a classic film review of 1957's Death in Small Doses, starring Peter Graves and Chuck Connors. Uh, it's a rip from the headlines tale of an undercover FDA agent infiltrating a Los Angeles trucking company uh, to get to the bottom of a case involving the trafficking of amphetamines or bennies, uh, pills that the drivers are using to keep themselves awake on long distance runs. Now, I was going to say that this was an early example of that subgenre of movies as cautionary tale, but I think that Reefer Madness was made even further back uh, in the mid 30s, so maybe not. Uh, also, a couple of years before this, we had heroin addiction in the great Frank Sinatra film, The Man with the Golden Arm. And 10 years before that, even, we had Billy Wilder's The Lost Weekend, uh, Ray Milland consumed by the demons of alcohol. Uh, now, Death in Small Doses has a, a looser vibe than those films, uh, but does move into very dark film noir territory as the story unfolds. Let's take a look. What old dad needs is a quick recharge. A couple of these and watch out, Nancy honey. Let's keep Uncle Tom company, cats. Happy days and happy nights. Ah, that'll rev up the old engine, huh? So after a number of fatal road accidents where amphetamines were found at the scene, an FDA agent going by the undercover alias of Tom Kayla is tasked with getting a job for a trucking firm and finding the source of these pills. Uh, he moves into a local boarding house uh, popular with other truckers and owned by a lady whose late trucker husband had also fallen foul of an accident at the wheel. Now, it's not long before Tom experiences the fatal danger of these stay awake pills uh, and a few more deaths occur and it won't take too much digging uh, before Tom's life is also in danger. Hey, what's happened to old Shug? I don't know, he just killed over. Man, he looks cold. He's dead. Well, I'll take this. Now, I don't think Death in Small Doses is a particularly well-known movie. Uh, I stumbled upon it on Amazon Prime, I think, uh, and I was subsequently unable to find a physical release uh, here in the UK. Uh, if there's any viewers outside of the UK, let me know if it's been released elsewhere. Uh, I feel it's the kind of oddity that Indicator would put out as part of a nice little box set. Um, hint, hint. <laughs> Anyway, it's a shame because this is a little hidden gem of a movie. Uh, it has a short, sharp 78 minute runtime and it's sometimes hilarious in its depiction of half the town being on Benzedrine or Benny's. Uh, and in fact, the word Benny's is uttered so often in this movie that you'll feel like you're on Benny's yourself. <laughs> I think you might as well know about Benny. Benny? A couple of Benny's and all the black market Benny's. I took a few Benny's. 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 So our main protagonist, played by Peter Graves, who you might know as Jim Phelps from the Mission Impossible TV show, or as the captain in Airplane, uh, he replays a super straight government agent whose quiet professionalism is more than balanced out by a movie-stealing turn from Chuck Connors as Mink. Hey, Amy, the kid looks a little tired. Why don't you give him one of your side orders? Just a little old shafafa on the side and you start wheeling and dealing, right, Amy? Shut up, Mink. Just shut up. <laughs> that girl is crazy about me. Uh, Connors plays the role a mile a minute, always on the move, popping so many pills his heart should really have exploded about 20 minutes into the movie. <laughs> Mink's manic actions and the rock and roll soundtrack keep Death in Small Doses rattling along. Hey, laughing boy. Your pupil teach you what that accelerator's for, Wally. And because it's such a short film, it needs to be ultra economical with its storytelling. Um, it folds in elements of organised crime, uh, small town secrets, uh, and it features at least a couple of devious little plot twists. Uh, we even have time for a bit of romance between Tom and the widowed boarding house landlady Val, played by Marla Powers. Now, special mention also to Mary Anders uh, as a truck stop waitress, Amy whose addiction to Benny's takes its toll as she starts to crack under the strain of both her addiction as well as her involvement in peddling said pills. I know nothing good ever came to me that didn't cost me a lot. Do you think sometimes you can come out ahead? It's possible. And now watching a film like this with modern eyes is always a bit of fun. Uh, Peter Graves arrives in town and immediately starts asking everyone questions about drug related deaths. Uh, the casual nature of everyone just popping prescription pills is quite jarring. This film obviously taking place before Benzedrine became a 
class two controlled substance. Um, it seems like you actually can't be a trucker or a waitress or anything in this town without having to take pills. And I'm also not 100% sure of the science of amphetamine users having these sinister hallucinations or ending up in psychiatric wards so easily. Now, Death in Small Doses was directed by Joseph M. Newman, who's not a household name, to say the least, but did knock out some pretty decent little movies in his time. Uh, outside of this, I'd certainly recommend his 1950 crime drama, uh, 711 Ocean Drive, and the brilliantly daft 1955 sci-fi horror, This Island Earth. Uh, here, he's equally adept at capturing small town life, along with coffee shop freakouts. He puts together some good action sequences here, whether it's trucks careering out of control or some pretty brutal for the time fist fights. Now the 1950s in general were chock full of brilliant little B-movies like this one, uh, peppered with great dialogue that you just don't get anymore. Uh, that jive hepcat lingo in Death in Small Doses is fabulously of its time. Welcome to the fraternity, Mick Reynolds. Tom Kaler. Here Val Tomey. Here you want to jockey the big ones. Oh, I'm going to try. <laughs> Nothing to it. I'm heading for the terminal now. Give you a lift? Yeah, that'll be swell. Let's roll, man. Time and saw its locations. Uh, gas stations on dusty highways. Uh, greasy spoon diners that are always full of regulars. And I've literally just thought of another film with similar themes to this, which is High School Confidential, uh, which came out around the same time, I think, and also has some great 50s slang dialogue and OTT messages on the danger of drugs. Uh, it'd make a great double bill with Death in Small Doses. Like many similar movies of the time, this used that rip from the headlines, shock element to sell itself. Uh, the plot was based on a newspaper article by Arthur L. Davis and adapted into a screenplay by John McGreevy, who was best known for his writing on The Waltons, uh, which is a far cry from this movie. Now, the only unfortunate thing about the movie is that Chuck Connors' hilariously jacked up performance as Mink Reynolds is so zany that he makes the rest of the cast look half asleep. So this film's not to be confused with a 1995 uh, TV movie thriller of the same name uh, but if you do stumble upon this little belter of a Benny's fueled B movie make sure you go check it out